Okay, what's up guys? Um, today I want to make uh, a new a new video uh, and it's about Historia Antiqua chapter. It's been a while since the last time I made uh, I made uh, another video. So uh, I'm gonna open it up with with this video instead. And we finally got into act 2 and I'm I'm pretty late for this for this act anyway. Okay, uh to, to shorten the time, I guess I'm gonna get into the game. Oh, wait a second. Just looking for the game character. What's wrong with this? Okay, there we go. So, what should we do here first? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this. Uh, History Antiqua. Strange Sights, Stolen Souls. Go to Lyria's Adventurer's Guild and talk to Catherine. Catherine of the Adventurer's Guild in Lyria Harbor has a new commission, blah blah blah. Okay. So there she is. Let's go. Hi, Catherine. It's us. Any new commissions? As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. Uh huh. Is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. He's hoping the Adventurers Guild can spare some manpower. What is it we have to do exactly? I believe you'll be looking for workers. Ooh, I'll for be looking for awesome. workers. I have no reason to doubt your abilities. I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Dai. Okay. Historia Antiqua Chapter Act 2. No Mere Stone. Started. Okay. No Mere Stone, isn't it? Uh, press free to navigate. So I need to go to... Uh, who was that again? Wait a second. Where is the person? Oh, he's down here. Found you. Uncle Day. Hey, are you Uncle Day? I am indeed. Ah, now then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Yep, I am. How could you tell? <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Hmm. You're pretty perceptive. <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Di can see what you're made of from a long way off. All right, my assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Woo woo! That's why we're here. Now there's someone else taking a cut. Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. Hmm. So there is someone else. Do you think we're not And who job? could that be? Uh, Paimon, you're getting competitive again? Uh, it just occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to say the least. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. A uh -huh. listed an industry expert to cover all contingencies. Mm -hmm. Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in ore appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Besides, this guy's uh -huh. the best in his field. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. To the nearest mora at a glance. Not so that that knows rocks better than him. Hey. I'd be a fool not an expert of his caliber. Uh -huh. You're a fool if you think you found Tavette's number one rock expert. Oh? And why might that be? Because Tavette's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. You must be talking about... Yeah? Perfect. I was planning to ask him a few questions. <laughs> Didn't expect I guess. that, did you? Wait here, we'll go fetch him. Okay, we gotta look for Zhongli now, and I think it's faster if we teleport through here. Because I already memorized the places in Liyue Harbor. And of course it's definitely here. Found you. In our last tale, Rex Lapis. Zhongli, there you are! Oh, here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. Ah, something I'm rarely short of. Um, we have a special task. We need someone who 
understands geology and ore. Hmm. Someone who understands geology and ore. Uh, it should be you, of course. Is there anyone in Tavat more qualified? The requester claims to have enlisted Tavat's number one rock expert. But Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. Oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Paimon just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. Really? Mm -hmm. But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Ugh. Stop being so modest, Young Lee. Well, we got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. Okay, let's go back to Uncle Dai. Uh, where could he might be? Return to the deck and talk to Uncle Dai. Oh, he should be that way. Okay, let's go. Also. Uh wait, should I use my should I use traveler right now? I wonder about that. Wait a second, why am I why am I talking to Miss Liu? No 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 Miss Liu I mean. Uh I need to go this way Okay, there we go. Okay there he is. Uncle Dai, we're back! Oh. And uh, this must be the friend you spoke of? Yep. Yep. Who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? And who's this? Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Huh? Uh... Uh, this is Zhang Li, a consultant from the Funeral Parlor. Shun Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I am sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me, Kenjin. So, that's where you're planning, I guess. Huh? I... I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses... Uh, oh. Never mind, Zhang Li won't lose! A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk! I'm just saying uh, it like I see it. Okay. <laughs> which is, incidentally, the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged to meet here. Huh? How could you forget something like that? I saw him on my way over to Lee Yua Harbor, poring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So, do you have a poor memory? Not exactly. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, I can most certainly lend a hand. Mr. Shun, okay, that's great then. What do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior. With a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Wait, what did you say? Rough gem? Oh, from another nation. It's not from Leary Harbor, I see. A keen eye. 
It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high quality crystal ore inside. Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped okay. it. Okay. What makes this one so special? I am gonna ask them this way. Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to mm. make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. Purity and geological rarity alone are enough to make a treasure. Some of them contain deposits of water or sand. Oh, In interesting. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. Oh, I see, I see. Seems so interesting. I really like the description. Yeah, I agree with you too, Paimon. Hmm. Everything he said is true. Most crystals are born in <clears throat> high temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course, which is why crystals with water deposits are so sought after. Moreover, this hmm. particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. Well, if Jean Lee says so, it must be true. Hey. I'm not to anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhang Li. How did you know exactly what lay within? I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Of course not! I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you will accept my friendship. Hey, Dai, a friendship. It would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. Okay, let's go to the chasm. Okay, where exactly should I go anyway? Oh, it's one kilometers away this way. Just teleport through Linjo Pass. Guess it should be faster, I guess. Especially, I'm using shell so I can use my elemental skill like this. Okay, that should be a great boost. And another two seconds left. I'm gonna make another boost. Okay, just like that, nice. Oh, this is a f this is even more useful than I thought. <laughs> really like it, and I exactly landed here instead of have to climb or something. Okay, let's make it fast. One hundred meters away that way. Eh. Mm, and who's here? It's Bravo. And here we we met Uncle Day again. Whoa, this mine is huge! This is where the incident occurred. Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. I led vanished? a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. Mm -hmm. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in Wait, this Mao? trade are usually <coughs> young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? Underground, overground. We left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. Okay. So we need to find some traces. What should I go here? What should I do here? Over here! What's this? A pile of shit? 
shirts, some trousers. Wait, we got a bunch of clues now, and uh, they didn't they didn't able to manage to find at least a pile of shirts yeah. like this. A few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Di and his men. One, yeah, of course. Two, three, four. Huh? That seems right. Ten, ten shirts. shirts. Ten pairs of trousers. Oh, it's theirs. It was it was prepared spares, right? long ago, Look, before before they've gone, I guess. Uh, I mean the four the four men Uncle Di mentioned. So this must the be spare. Four spared. of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs and some soap lying around. Oh, and some tool belts. Some soap, handkerchiefs, tool Hands belts. Washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So uh -huh. they didn't take any supplies. Hmm. Yep. Correct. <gasps> exactly. Hmm. Maybe they just forgot them. Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. Or two, they were forced to leave and had no time to think about their supplies. Oh. Yep, there are two two conditions. Uh, perhaps someone kept them. It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Di know. So perhaps they were forced to leave. Oh, we need to look for more clues. Uh, something here? And who's there? Kunjun. Oh. There he is. There he is. And there's a core lapis. What do you have there? Oh, right on time. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Or, what does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. Hmm. <sighs> okay. And what are you doing there? Oh no, who's that there? Wait, is that Xingju? Wait, what is he doing over there? I mean, how did he know about that? Looks like he's concentrating really hard. What's he up to? I see four men following someone out of the mine. Seems like seeing you. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. It, it looks like a child. A child? What are they doing? What's a child doing in a mine? I'm not sure. Also, how did you see anything exactly? Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. I've never dared to tell anyone before. Mm -hmm. I can perceive the memories of Orr. Huh? Perceive? Hey. So there's no conjecture at work? You mean you can put your hand on a rock and boom, it just happens? I've always sensed that ore contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. Amazing! Interesting. So you can find out everything that ever happened there. It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Core lapis and crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. This mm -hmm. will take us north, away from the mine. North? Another clue for Uncle Dai! Let's make a note of it. 
Okay, so they they were going north. Uh, threaten us! Don't look for more clues. I need I need to look for more clues. Can I just go here instead? Without without telling Uncle Divers because. Oh, did I just trigger a fight? Wait a second. Oh, there's a fight with with the with the slime. Okay, I'm gonna do it later. Okay, I couldn't find anything right now. I need I need to go back to Uncle Divers. Also, where where was the where was the slime again? Oh, ch ah! This is surprising. Shadows of fate. Here we go. Okay, got him off. Wait, what? It's not that yet. Let's dance. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's one to kill with. Useless. Um. Okay, let's wait. Why should I go back to Bravo? Oh, I see. Are you one of the workers here? He's here, and we gotta ask him uh, for yes, yes. about he about the about the disappearance. Please find them if you can. Hey. I, I don't know what happened. Okay, there wasn't. The weather was gloomy that day. The that wasn't what I expected. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break, just to catch my breath. I ended up fought maybe. Oh wait a second! Why did I skip that? My bad. So the men that were out working disappeared. With the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Perhaps an uh -huh. accident occurred on site. Oh, what a scary thought. An on-site accident. We should note that down too. On-site accident, hmm. We found some clues. Time to report back to Uncle Dai. Okay, great. Let's report back to Uncle Dai. You're back. How are the investigations going? We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes, yet everyday items are still in their place. Mm. They suggest that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced okay. to? Okay. But who would kidnap miners? Who indeed? Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on site. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Mm-hmm. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with them? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. A child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. Need help? You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch him. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. <sighs> You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. Mm -hmm. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Inn tomorrow evening. Agreed. Okay. All right. Me and my men will get going. Okay, let's get going. So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah! Where's Kunjun? Paimon Betsy's still investigating. Let's go find him. Uh, at first place, why why do we left Kunjun? Oh, he's here. Nice. I thought he left. Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's keep going. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. 
Dragonfall. Dragonfall. Never heard of it. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? I... I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very absent lately. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious. As if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Oh, I kind of understand that. I usually oh, have a sense of that feeling when you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. Yep. I don't even know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Perhaps if mm -hmm. I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zheng Li. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Great! Let's have a look! Okay, let's have a look. So, we, need, we need to head, head north. Okay, we gotta go this way. Uh, because we're already... At, already... Do some talks with Uncle Dai and... Kunjun. Is it Kunjun or Kunjun? It's kind of hard. Wait, there are tracks here. What's that? Oh, this must have been left by the I miners. see. Let us make our way to the. Those are. I think. I think it's. There. There are a bunch of iron chunks. I guess. Okay. Let's just keep it true and let's go there. I'm gonna skip it. Uh, I'm gonna skip the enemies down here. Just like that. And shield skills really useful, despite his saying useless. Hmm. It's okay. It's here. We got a ring guard to fight with, I guess. Look for more clues in this area. Okay. What now? Hmm. It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. Mm -hmm. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went. I think so. Follow the footprints. We gotta go there. I think. Uh, can I skip this ring guard, please? I want. I want to have a useless fight for now. Ouch! Wait a second. I need to fight this one first. Yo. Yo, you over there, come here. Okay. Got him off. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna finish it uh, right away, I guess. Can I? Well, I wonder about that. But seems like I can do it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Easy fight, anyway, over there. Uh, ask people and everybody for information. Nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. I guess so. Oh, there's there is young Green. Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone else. Okay, let's try the second one. Wait. Stop bothering me! Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Ah, you're interesting. We're a little grumpy, aren't we? Really? Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. Okay, I think I can. I, I have. This guy is kind of sus, I think. Related to the, to the mining things, you know, to the miners. And there's Ling. Wait a second. 
Can I skip that fight first, please? What are you doing? Animal Animal boxer <laughs> No, stop following me! Get off! Jeez Ah, there are a bunch of other Fatuis these guys are just the worst. Hey there! At Seven Miners? It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Yep. Yeah, that's them! Exactly four what I'm searching five for. Four days ago. It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Okay, this is this is gonna be an interesting one. This child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair, short. I think I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And they took this road? Yes, they followed it straight from here. No, I'm pretty sure it's Xingqiu. Xingqiu is a boy, man. Go you gotta be kidding me. Anyway, let's go after them. Follow the road and keep up the person. Oh, I think I can just start portrait her here, I guess. Instead of follow the road, it's kind of it's kind of troublesome actually. <laughs> and we've reached the quest area. I'm still using show. Okay, wait a second. I need to go this way. Nope. I mean, going here. Oh. And where exactly could that be? Save me? Okay, let's rescue them first, I guess. And we got a bunch of enemies to fight with. Hello, guys! Nice to meet you. you can get away? Good thing I used Mona this time. Oops! Not so fast! Come here! Oh, this is bad. Nope, get off! Okay, nice one. Okay, one off. Um, just a little bit of basic attack should be fine. Okay, great, just like that. Get him off! Okay, nice. Mona, Fenty. Okay, great. Ouch. My bad. Where is he? Let me get him off. Okay, there we go. Easy one over there. Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. And look what we've got here. The name's Wanyu. And we've got Ganyu too. Huh? This is interesting. Sure I wonder if there is like Panyu. <laughs> Wait a second. It's Paimon. No, 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 no. Uh, it's kind of silver over there. Yeah, we're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I, mm -hmm. I think I saw those people. And where could that be? Yes. I wonder about they that. Set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for the Lynch day Pass. before yesterday. And halfway there, I came across some people, a few men and a child. You set off from Nantianmen. Um, heading for Lingju Pass from Nantiamen to Lingju Pass. Okay, I I got I got the pass. About halfway, I came across some people, a few men and a child. Wait a second, a child. I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. Oh, this is that, that's, that's, that's pretty useful. Thank you. Yep. I hope it's useful to you. Of course, why not? Going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. Yep. Um, you're welcome, I guess. According to 
to the scholar, the miners were heading for Nantiamun. Can we be mm -hmm. absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. It could easily have been a different group. Uh, but... Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. And uh, how about you give a try? Aha! Paimon nearly forgot about our secret weapon! It looks promising. I'll do my best. Okay, I'm counting on you, Kunjun. Hmm. Hmm. Let me check it out. Oh, a child! There's a child over there, and the four miners! And the one doesn't use the basket, instead there they have a pocket. It's the same group, alright. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like, like we're cracking a criminal case. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night over hills and mountains led by a child. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geo-Bishop Hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. We have encountered many mm -hmm. clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nan Tianmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nan Tianmen, we should be able to catch up with them. Great. Yep. No time to lose! I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. Wait, where's Uncle Dai again? Why didn't why didn't we go we go together with Uncle Dai? I mean is it is it trying to wait a second, up stone? I mean can I destroy it please? Nope, I can't. Whatever. Heck for 90 I mean and look for clues, just teleport through. Should be easy. Wait a second. Okay, great. Yep. Fatui uh, who cares about the fat way at a time like this? Can I fight this? Nope. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna fight that guy. Hey, oh, look, there's one over there! Is it Who's there? There's a basket lying here, too. This must be one of the miners. Hey! Yep, of course. Hello? Can you hear us? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. He is. I can... I can still dig. <gasps> hmm. Sounds like he's whispering something. Looks like he's struggling. It seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Something's not right. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and monitor his condition before deciding our next move. Okay, let's go to the next camp. Um, It's here. Hmm. How is he? He... he won't die, right? He's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. Hmm, I wonder how did he get so exhausted. I heard him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? It's certainly a possibility. Wasn't he brought here? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Are these... Or fragments? Hmm. And what's that? Oh! You can get the memories from that, right? Okay, nice one. Uh-huh. Then what? I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. How he came to be here is what we need to understand. So he was kidnapped? And then abandoned here. But if they didn't need I, him, why bring him all the way I don't think here? that's the 
I don't think Perhaps that's the something conclusion. Happened. Something that led him to fall behind. Ugh. had enough. This is too mysterious. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. What is it? Ooh, uh, is it a present? Something for us? What As is I it? I mentioned, before I met Uncle Dai, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. I was so happy when Uncle Dai enlisted you to help. I would never have managed to track down these clues by myself. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. It's beautiful. A memory? Oh, and the colors change as you turn it. It's like a different crystal from each angle. Um, can I really get this? But of course, take it. And this one is for Mr. Shongli. Uh, huh? I is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. But, thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Oh, I see more mm. rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Perhaps there are more memories to uncover. You sure like rocks, huh, Kunjin? Ores are the crystals of the earth. This get some rest and okay. call me when you're ready to set off. I won't um, be far. He'll be okay in his own Rest right. easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Oh, however, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? And what could that What's be? What's with the seriousness all of a sudden? Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? Well, I guess I'm kind of hurt of the word dragon fall but you I wonder where the or that Kunjun's looking for? What's so special about it? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. Mm -hmm. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. Mm -hmm. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle, thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. When the fighting ceased, hey, something new these here. geological remnants were miraculously preserved. <sighs> and yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between. Relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Mm -hmm. Why is it then that a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the earth? S a citizen of Liu? Eh? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Wait. If he knows of its I mean, I mean, he, he wasn't from Liu, right? Or I miss, I misunderstood. <laughs> Uh, his words before. There are those uh, whatever. In the mining trade who retain I'm just, a I'm just, keen uh, interest in Dragonfall. I'm just blabbering. <laughs> but for someone like Mr. Kunjun, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself, it's practically unheard of. Yep. Ulterior motives? <gasps> Is he a villain? A conclusion that is presently mm. impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. Yep, forget, gotta agree with you. Rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, sooner or later the tide will reveal the lie of the land. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have more investigation ahead. We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, mm -hmm. we can return and attend to it. Okay, uh, let's let's call let's call Kunjun. Archaic stone. Hmm. Can I see how the item is? Archaic stone. Oh, there it is. A rare ore mined from a deserted spot deep in the mountains. This sort. This ore can only be found in veins in the oldest mountains. Perhaps it's due to an extreme blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. Uh, so 
When this first sweat danger wait, how how should I spell it? Uh anyway, let's let's go let's go to Kunjun now. Ah why should I fight this guy? Shadows of brace yourselves. Okay there we go. One hit kill using Fanti's elemental skill. Nice one. And there he is. We need to get going. No problem. I'm done here. Uh, okay. Any results, Mr. Kunjun? There are many beautiful rocks here, but nothing out of the ordinary. I couldn't find any clues. Then again, the memories of ore can shift with the passage of time and the changing of the environment. Is there a pattern to it? Hmm. Difficult to say. I feel that hmm. ore memories tend to be from the recent past. So there's never any ancient memories? Rocks endure, but as eons pass, their memories are erased. Those memories that survive Eons. are rooted in powerful emotion or thought. That makes sense. It is the same for people. Indeed. Let's keep going. Interesting. How can I keep going? Amidst chaos, the rock is unmoved. Head to the ancient tree <laughs> and face the gate. Oh, uh, the ancient tree here, I see. I wonder if Kunjun could uh, check the memory Such of this tree. Immense tree, and there's so many mysterious-looking crystals up there too. Amazing. This ancient tree. Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take that area. Perhaps you could survey this section. Okay. All right then. Kunjun, can you see anything worth investigating? Well, there is this stone tablet here. That's Hmm. It's worth a try, surely. Let me see. Oh. <sighs> Wait, what's that? Wait, what's that flash? Hey, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past. Nothing to worry about. Do you see anything? Not, <sighs> Not yet. You're sure there'll be clues in the tree? If you don't try, you won't know. Anyway, you'll be able to get a good look at our surroundings from up there. Uh, okay, seems like a good idea over there. Oh, um, y you think so? Why does Paimon ever come up with a bad idea? Hmm? Wait a minute, Paimon can fly. Uh, all right, Paimon will go. You wait here. Paimon will. All of you, come here. Uh, Zongli's voice came from. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go to Zomli. Looks like we gotta go this way. I'm going to find Zomli. Zomli should be here. Okay, there he is. This has been newly dug. It would appear our answer is up ahead. Is that a voice coming from the tunnel? <laughs> Someone else go first. Compose yourselves. I will lead us in. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There is an unusual presence emanating from inside the tunnel. Prepare yourselves and tread lightly. Seems like we're about to fight the uh, the new monster, I guess. Oh wait, I haven't get ready yet. No. Ah, uh, what now? Huh? <sighs> yes, uh, the there they are. <laughs> What are they digging for? And they're kind of possessed by a black a black sore or something. He's, they're they're all kind of possessed. That gate has it been here all along? Digging a tunnel to this ancient seal. Had they not been discovered, they would undoubtedly persevere until the gate. Oh, this is bad. Wait, are they gonna fight us? You're gonna be kidding me. Oh, that's that's interesting. Them. 
Look, a black soul over there. Oh no! Wait a second! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. No, 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 no! We got sucked in. And where exactly are we now? Okay, finally we got we got a chance to fight this guy. The shield is about to assist the list right. And wh why are we here anyway? No, no explanations really. Ouch! Oh, my bad. Okay, use this one. Uh, can I use only shield again? So I can use this. Okay, just like this. Shield Lord of Fish Shaps. Ouch! Wait a second! Oh! Oh, this is hard. How am I, how am I supposed to if get them out? Oh. So okay, this is. It's been a while since the last time I used Barbara's ultimate. Ouch! Of truth, as it ought to be. I still haven't know the pattern of uh, this guy's fight. How am I supposed? Ouch! Okay, this is bad. Okay, there it is. It's back. Okay. Let's dance. Easy dodge over there. Or should I say it's just a block? <laughs> Oops. Okay, ultimate sound. Okay, this so Fenty's ultimate is really useful here because this the enemy is too big to fight. Ouch. Okay, that was close. I thought my house gonna get. Ah no. Wait. Ah. This is troublesome. Ow. Here we go. Uh Okay, how am I supposed to deal with this correctly? Yes, it's only again Ah, why am I using ultimate at the time like this? Nope. Ouch, what are you doing over there? Let me let me strengthen my my shield. Okay. Okay, let's go. Nice. Anyway, new soundtrack here. I'm really interested to to, to make a soundtrack of this. Ouch! Thanks is upon you. Okay, great. Yep, just like that. Oh no, this one shield is right. Oh no, no, not yet, not yet. Nice. Uh, I could have. Ouch! Okay, great. There we go. Time to use Shield's ultimate at the time like this. And. Easy defeat over there. And he's finally shield back again using his only skill. Man, what was that, man? Thousand years after you sealed me underground, you return for the second time. <sighs> you should call it by its name, Ashtaha. Fate. 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 <laughs> so here lies the wisdom of the gods. Destroy all deemed redundant, endless tyrants to ravage the wilderness. No. You have forgotten. That that voice. That voice. Huh? Kunjun? Morax. It's been a while. Your Ejdaha. The very same. During the battle, you imbued us with your power. <laughs> yes. It was all I could manage. Huh? Then which one is the real Esteha? Forgive me for concealing the truth, traveler. 
There were things that only became clear to me upon reaching this tree. Allow me to elaborate. I am not Ejdaha the whole, but a fragment. Heaven and Earth, Yin and Yang, opposing forces. You can consider the existence of me and the Ejdaha you see there to be a reflection of such polarities. We mm. are a schism of the will. The, the will, will of Ejdaha. Of Ejdaha. So, so there are two Ejdahas? No, it can't be. That's impossible. When the seal loosened, your power manifested in this world as a child. With this new identity, you were able to vent about the forces that suppressed you. But would anyone listen? That's when it occurred to you. The loosening of the seal constituted an opportunity to strike back. Kidnapping the miners was all in aid of digging to the entrance to the seal itself. Your plan was to launch an attack on both ends, from outside and within, thereby fully destroying the seal. The audacity! Are you insane? If you truly are a part of me, how is it you find yourself standing on the side of the betrayer? I was another power awakened with the loosening of the seal. Too weak to reincarnate, but strong enough to possess a human body. Mm. I was barely conscious. I couldn't remember who I was. Only the past would elicit a reaction from me. But my aim was clear. Find Morax and aid him in stopping you. I had sensed that something was amiss when you mentioned Dragonfall. Had your power been but a little stronger, I would have recognized you. Don't blame yourself. I have changed beyond all recognition. Only when I touched the stone tablet did I truly remember. It's been so long. A secret beyond all comprehension of youthful humanity and ancient dragonkind. Morax, do you want to tell the tale? Okay, now Kunjin is, uh, is calling Zhongli as Morax. There would be this no is interesting. It. The decision is yours. Uh. <laughs> you haven't changed. Then allow me, Ejdaha was once a friend and ally of the Geo Archon Morax, with a lifespan far exceeding that of mankind. Mm -hmm. However, that which is derived of the Earth is no more or less than the Earth itself. The memories of rocks do not last long. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion. But as time passes, so these memories fade into obscurity. Erosion is the world's greatest destroyer of memories. Erosion. Erosion ground Ejdaha's consciousness into oblivion. Slowly, he forgot the face of his old friend, and his memories of defending Liyue Harbor disintegrated. Ejdaha now incomplete, became irascible, aggressive. What would you expect? It was humanity that attacked the ley lines that sustained me. This much is true, which is why you attacked the chasm, why you waged war against Morax. In the beginning, in order to open up new territory and increase production, the citizens of Liyue came to the mountains to mine. Overexploitation caused the ley lines to quake, which brought untold suffering to us. Erosion made us even more savage. No matter how we struggled, we lost the ability to coexist with humanity. We lost all reason. Morax mm -hmm. shared with us some of his power to prevent further erosion, but it was futile. Everything returns to dust. It is the natural order, an unstoppable force. And so, we 
became you. And from your will, I emerged. I am your final contract. Witness the promise between Ejdaha and Morax. You can hate me, but you cannot deny me. No! No! I am the remnants of Ejdaha's benevolence. The echo of a contract set in stone. I harbor a willingness to go further. A willingness to coexist mm, peacefully. I see. So that's how God. so that's how Liu Wei Harbor becomes the the con the the region where where the con the contracts and and everything's related to to the tradings, uh, sales items and and it's related mostly of uh, with with the rocks because the memories are are safe in in the rock itself <laughs> which uh which which will which will give you memories like uh if you if you were to trade everything it's all it's all recorded in a in a stone so you it's uh, so it describes about how hard it is to if you to it it describes how hard it is uh, if you uh, if you were trying to to have um, uh, to make something like we've got earlier from Ganyu's quest. You know you know the one uh, of Ganyu's quest, right? It's about if you haven't watched even haven't played or watched the Ganyu's quest. It's about it's about someone uh, who's um, who's making a trade of. I mean, uh, there is. I uh, what should I say? There's someone which is uh, which is related to to something something like uh, illegal sellings and some yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Still, my bad English. Okay, it's not. It's not actually uh, related that much, though. Uh, let's just uh, drop oh, it up no. for now. This is I, Aishdaha, forged of elemental crystal, bearer of the weight and memories of the earth, older than the mountains and the oceans that decides. I will not oh. swear allegiance to this insect. Morax insect is not an insect. A lord over insects is nothing but an insect in turn. A lord over insects is nothing but You forgot yourself. Nobody held Morax in higher regard than you or I. That which you have forgotten, I hold here in my heart. If you are the memory of the earth, then I am the memory of coexistence. Of coexistence with humanity. All powers under heaven rise and fall of land and sea. A star appears within the wild. A sun ascends as bright as jade. Hmm. Strange. What, what is this feeling? And all this? You are spent. And I will soon disappear. Before I do, heed these words. In the wilderness, snow falls on a spring day. In an instant, it will melt. Even where it is fleeting and leaves no trace. Even where it will never fall again. No! That isn't true! I don't accept this as fate! Perhaps it isn't. But it remains an inevitable misfortune. Oops. More axe. The little girl vanished. Uh, sealed away, eroded. Are you satisfied, Ishtaha? I had to make amends. Satisfaction had no part in it. So, more axe. You call yourself Zhang Li these days. I do. Well. I'm afraid old habits die hard. To me, 
Your Morax. As you please. I never did forget your gift of sight. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. And yet, you could see. You wouldn't know the yearning of a blind dragon, searching for the sun. A pair of eyes, from Morax to Ejda. This, I will remember this. <sighs> Your power is nearly spent. Ah... Perceptive as always, my friend. Shall we get going, you and I? Surely the pressing matter is still that of the miners trapped outside the seal. Mm. Indeed. Hence the need to get going. To fix the damage left in your wake. Hmm. Straight down to business as always. Let's go. Couldn't you just really have... A, a really have a different different feel I mean uh, he was uh, he was seems like so so fun to to talk with but but after after he turned into into Ashdaha, I I totally changed my 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 point of view to to Kunjun or should I say Ashdaha? Fish up. Huh? How did we get here? We need to go back and check on the miners. Okay, we're gonna go back here. Wait, should I go? Oh, it's just with flower. Okay, let me get this. Oh, there's Uncle Day. So there you are. My men and I found your clues and followed them straight here. We found Mao in a tent on <laughs> the campsite, unconscious. It seems he'll be okay. Sadly, we found no trace of the other three. Huh? Young Kun, what... what is... Nothing. Pay it no mind. Those three miners are over there, in that cave. Cave? Uh, cave? What happened? They're exhausted, but not in danger. Don't worry. Uh, right. Well, okay, looks like Zoli and Kunjun are backing up each other. Doing. So you're taking them back to Liyue Harbor? That's right. Can I come with you? No problem. You rescued my men. I'll be happy to assist all of you in any way I can. I'll be back soon. I need to assess their condition. Okay. Kunjun! Uh, uh, we should be calling you Ejda. You're coming back to Liyue Harbor too, right? Not I. Merely this body. Once I'm gone, the true owner will accompany the miners back to Liyue. Kunjun hails from a family of famous artisans. Mm -hmm. He too will be famous in time. It would be a shame for someone of his talent to go missing. You always did have a great admiration for blacksmiths. Curious how swords and daggers are blind, yet their creators see so much. Perhaps empathy is mankind's proudest achievement after all. Ejdaha. I am no longer the Geo Archon. Speaking of, Zhongli is no longer the Geo Archon. Uh, who's gonna be the new Geo Archon? I can sense it. Or perhaps it can be said that uh, La Signora is actually the Geo Archon Knight right now. And together with the Animal Archon. Today I am just an ordinary citizen of Liu. Even you met such a fate. <sighs> Let's get the difficult part out of the way. I can No matter. If that day comes to pass, Liyue must prepare itself to face you. And how will Liyue fare without Rex Lapis? Even without a god above, this remains a nation of men. I was once their god. I ought to be here to witness their rise and fall. All life is shaped and then ground away by the endless flow of time. You were always the strongest among us. Yet, it would seem that even you have been eroded. That's unimportant. Fate is ordained by heaven. Even if our mission had already concluded, it would be cowardly not to strike out on the road of departure. You may live forever, doomed to a lonely existence. Yet, even this is temporary. 
I do not pretend I, I, to match I guess I'm your skip this when piece. it comes to the subject of a life long lived. Were it not so, you would have killed me long ago. And would not be having to face me again now. You've brought a smile to my face. When all is said and done, a reunion between old friends is an auspicious occasion. That day in the chasm. Did you hesitate? A heart of stone is a heart nonetheless. But I am the god of contracts, and was for a time a god of the people of Liyue. So Zhongli is still god of contracts, but... But now, uh, he's not a Geo Archon anymore. You chose justice. Is that is that what he means exactly? Forsake your kindness. You came to me not as an assassin, and so I was willingly sealed away. Also, the the way their talk is kind of is kind of <laughs> pissing me off. The movements actually. of the Earth Dragon can tremble the earth and shake the heavens. With your abilities, even at my full strength, I struggled to confront you. Let alone seal you away. Hence my inception. Mm. Do not mm. forget that I was there with Liwa's founder. The face may have changed, but the content of the contract remains intact. Old friend. God of contracts. I hereby honor our agreement. <sighs> Thank you, Ishtaha. My life is at an end. I will join the eternal flow of time. And you, Morax, you will live for many a day to come. <sighs> You're leaving? If it is fated, Morax, we will meet again. Okay, Ashley is finally leaving. And Kunjun is. Uh, the real Kunjun is collapsed. I mean. Yes. Yep. Don't be alarmed. He's only asleep. Whoa. That was so weird. It was like he suddenly became another person. In fact, we have yet to meet the real Kunjun. How about Ashdaha? He was a great friend of he yours. Was. Centuries may have passed since then, but events from a thousand years ago remain crystal clear in my mind. Hmm. In our last tale, Rex Lapis was walking alone in the mountains. He heard a remote voice, unlike any other, coming from a crack in the earth. Most of the ancient Geo life forms that live below Liyue are blind, having not seen the sunlight for an age. The voice was sometimes sad and song like. Other times it was loud and thunderous. The Lord of Geo searched here and there before finally unearthing a strange stone from the bedrock. That's how Ejdaha was. I answered his wish and took him above ground. The Lord of Geo took pity on the rock spirit and carved it into a magnificent work of craftsmanship, a vivid representation of a dragon. I bestowed him with a pair of eyes to see the world and came to an agreement with him. With his fingers, he made two eyes, quicker than words could tell. Lightning flashed and thunder roared, and a living, breathing dragon soared into the clouds. I agreed to let him live among the people above ground. But if the day ever came when he brought ruin to order, he would once again be sealed in the dark. The dragon accompanied the Lord of Geo, fighting campaigns alongside him in the four corners of the world. We have a saying to eulogize these events. The crash of a spear brought billowing dust. The mountains and waters made way at the sound. The sight of a dragon bestowed with a touch the promise of rainwater blessing the ground such a nice storytelling there so what's next a thousand years ago Ejdaha attacked the chasm I tried to obstruct him fighting him tooth and nail down the length and breadth of the mine. 
Finally, I brought him down and sealed him underground. During that battle, Dragonfall was born. Ejdaha could sense the stone. Subconsciously, he wanted to use it to find me. Despite being the victor, I could not claim to be stronger than he. And in his heart, he still retained an ounce of goodwill towards me. Towards Leo. Towards life above ground. He was willing to be sealed away. But as the erosion set in, he forgot. The power of erosion... Scary. Have you also been affected by erosion? Even I cannot avoid it. But there is something I understand better than most. When the door opens, it is time to leave. The greater the power, the greater the danger erosion may bring about. The millennia may come and go, but even a stone may tire. Mm, so that's why you, just, you chose to leave. Personally sealing away an old friend. This is just one form of erosion I have endured. People abandon and surrender the things they love to pursue the right path. Perhaps this is the erosion imposed on me by the natural order of this world. But I was a god of mankind. My identity may change, but my eyes will bear witness to the history of humanity. You still care a lot about Liyue. Call it... <sighs> part of my duty. I must thank you both. No worries! Hold on. I want to ask you something. Oh? About what? About my sister. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I need to. I need to have him because uh, his memories. It's it's from so centuries ago, long right? Long ago, we met a guy called Dane. He told us about Conria and the punishment of the gods. That's when we realized that those events were connected to the person we're searching for. My sibling. Young Lee, you're a god. You've lived through thousands of years of history. Surely you experienced the incident? Hmm. Uh, I cannot say. Really? Why? And why could that be? You can't even give us a thread of information? This is so important to us. I understand. But I must apologize. This is my contract. You mean another past grievance? Like the incident with Ejda? Too painful to talk about? It was signed before it all began. I have always honored the contract. And kept my silence. Uh, how can you be like that? You two are friends to me. I can assure it brings me no pleasure to disappoint you. But as the god of contracts, I cannot go back on my word. Hmm, okay, I guess I believe you Would then. You be ready to find out? It Perhaps. appears your understanding of this world continues to grow. There are many events of ages past. Many secrets hmm. that lie hidden. They have been eroded by time. Forgotten by the people. Abandoned. But you are capable of finding them and bringing them into the light. Those who come to witness, will witness. Those who are born to remember will remember. If you take the same road as that person, there may be more difficulties ahead. But as long as you firmly believe that you are on the right path, everything has meaning. Hmm. Okay, looks like the quest completed. Great. I finally completed the quest and got a bunch of uh, framework gems. Also, what did I just got here? Dream Sulfan. What is this? An item capable of changing character level up materials. Character level up materials obtained from memories. And how, how am I supposed to use this? I think I'm going uh, I'm, I'm gonna check it out later then. I guess. Okay, I guess that's it for the for now. As for the for Zhongli's quest. It's gonna it's it's pretty fun. And I'm so curious about the uh, about something that he cannot say. Hmm. Really? Could you just say it anyway? Hey! Okay, just kidding. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
uh, like this video if you like it dislike it if you don't and see you on my next li next content uh, I don't do much live streams on YouTube so let's just wait for my videos okay and peace out